Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lisette and this is the post review of Joie de Vivre, my 220 color diamond painting from Diamond Painting Deutschland, made by the beautiful artist Josephine Wall. Guys, this is update 26. So, exactly half a year we've spent together working on this amazing project. It was my diamond painting challenge for 2021. And, um, well, I really took my time with it. I did small sections each week. And then when I was finished, I showed you how I kit it down. I made a video about that. I sealed her. And last week I showed you how I framed her. I'll show you the back once more like this. And as you can see over here, I have the um, legend. So in case I ever lose a drill, I can put it back. Oh, and you can see there's a drill. So I'm really pleased with the, how the framing worked. Uh, I must be honest guys, I wasn't even planning on framing this diamond painting when I started it. I'm not going to hang her anywhere, but because you guys were following along on this journey and started asking me how I was going to seal it, and I thought, well, I'm not going to seal it, but then I thought, well, let's just do the whole thing and show you everything. So. That's what I did and I'm really glad that I did. I'm so happy with the end result and I can't stop. <laughs> stop doing this. Okay, guys, pros and cons. Well, pros, well, what a challenge this was. Especially <laughs> the wings. My God, this is confetti heavy, guys. And uh, well, uh, before I did this, I had only done one square diamond painting. Um, actually, I had only done about three diamond paintings in total, so I was a rookie. Uh, but I feel like this is my rite of passage and now I feel like a professional diamond painter. <laughs> no, I'm still learning, I'm still learning, but well, guys, you learn fast when you do a diamond painting like this. Okay, to be honest, in the beginning it was a bit daunting, but what I did, guys, I, um, I worked on small sections each time, and then I just put this one aside and worked on another diamond painting. And that way I kept it interesting and also didn't become overwhelmed with all the confetti because guys 220 colors and in some small sections you feel like you're using every one of them um, this particular painting you can't multiplace a lot there are other Josephine walls that have sections where that is possible the only part where I was able to do some multiplacing with a four placer was this part. Um, what I did guys, I started in the left bottom side and worked my way to the right and then I turned the canvas and worked on the top side. Um, for me, because a lot of people ask, well how do you work on such a large canvas? I worked on it on my dining room table so I didn't have to roll or fold it and I just turned the canvas and a great tip that I got was when you turn the canvas turn the box with your drills as well so you have the symbols in the same direction in your boxes um, also with the symbols because you've got four I had four tic-tac boxes full of drills that is the storage container system that I used and um, in the beginning I shoveled them around because 
I used the symbols that I needed for a particular section. I put them all together in one box. That was a lot of work. I got help from our girls, <laughs> so it was a game. But after a while, guys, you get used to the symbols and it's better to keep them in their place in your storage system because then you know, oh, that symbol's over there, that symbol's over there. I've seen other creators use systems where they just put certain symbols that look alike uh, in the same corner, like for instance, arrows together, um, rounds or stars together. And you can also work with a system um, by color. I didn't do any of that, guys. I, as I said in the beginning, I just made sure that I had all the symbols that I needed for a certain section in the same box and I just used that box. Um, and afterwards I got lazy and I just left them because then by then you know the symbols and they are easier to find. So don't think too long and hard about it it will work itself out. My favorite area on this painting is, and you would think it is the wing, but guys, it's this part. Oh, sorry. Look, the sparkle. Some people are like, when I sealed it, okay, you will lose the sparkle. Guys, the sparkle is insane. But I like this part, and it's better if you look at it from afar. So I'm going to put her down again. But that's the part where her wing starts and those aren't all the very bright colors, but this is beautiful when you see it coming out of her, well, below her armpit like that. That's really beautiful in, in real life when you see it. I used Gems Flow to keep track of all the hours that I spend on this and um, well guys, what I did, as I said, I lit, did little pieces and then a couple of times a week. The month of March, I must say, that I almost didn't work on this piece because I was doing a large Chuck Pinson canvas for the Chuck Along. Um, and that's an event where painters of the Diamond Painting community come together and do a landscape diamond painting from the artist Chuck Pinson so I wanted to join that um, and that month I almost didn't work on her um, as you guys know I have an entire playlist where you can follow the entire process and I think for myself it will be fun to look back on that <laughs> in a couple of years like okay what was I doing then um, I must say that, and I've talked about this also before, the rendering. I think the rendering of this one is perfect because you get that blurry feel that the actual painting has as well. So I think this resembles the actual artwork best. And that is what I really like. Um, there has been a discussion about the, the Diamond Art Club, Josephine Walls, which are hand charted and they have crisper lines. Um, I think those paintings are beautiful as well, but they don't come as close as the original artwork as the Diamond Painting Deutschland ones do. I'm working on a Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club as we speak, the Sagittarius, because as I said in one of my uh, updates, I want to compare the dress from Joie de Vivre with the dress in Sagittarius because they look a little bit alike. And I must say, guys, working on Sagittarius, so the actual diamond painting itself, it's fantastic because you can do line blocking, the colors are beautiful, so it's much easier to work on than this one. And if you're doing a diamond painting 
Um, this really is a challenge, let me say it like that. And the Sagittarius, so the Josephine Walls from Diamond Art Club, are really a joy to work on. So I must say, to work on a diamond painting, Diamond Art Club, I think I, I, I prefer that. Uh, but the end result, <laughs> I prefer diamond painting Deutschland regarding Josephine Wall. I'm just talking about Josephine Wall, guys. So, um, hmm, well, that's just my personal opinion. Please do with that what you want. Um, also, I ran out of a color. That was really spooky. Uh, I contacted Diamond Painting Deutschland, but they didn't get back to me and I didn't follow up on that, guys, because they're busy and, well, it was it was only one color. So what I did, I think maybe I got in the spam or maybe because my meal was in English, maybe something went wrong in translation. I don't know. No worries, because I found the color that I needed in another kit and I just used that and it was only well maybe 20 drills or something like that so nothing to get worried about all the other colors I had enough no worries at all the drill quality is perfect I had no troubles at all not a lot of trash sometimes uh, I got some of those that stick together um, like they haven't been cut uh, yet but the, the the sizes because sometimes you get like a certain color that is smaller than another no no gapping the the, the it is double-sided adhesive and I prefer poured glue but guys the quality of the double-sided adhesive was perfect am I planning on doing another diamond painting Deutschland <laughs> yes and um, two weeks ago I almost bought one I haven't yet <laughs> I'm waiting for one of them to come back into stock so it's out of stock right now um, and I'm actually contemplating if I don't want to do a round drill from them just to see the difference but that's just a personal thing maybe I'll do another square um, <laughs> so yes I'm definitely going to do another diamond painting Deutschland maybe not this year no definitely not this year guys because I've got so many other plans for first of all right now I'm working on Sagittarius because I want to show you the comparison with the dress. Also, I'm going to do mini caged from Anna Dittman from Heaven and Earth Designs, which is a huge <laughs> diamond painting. And uh, I'm going to start that in November. Okay, and you're like, okay, November, we're in week 26. Um, what are you going to do in between? Well, <laughs> There's a new plan and I'm going to tell you all about it next Monday. It's a new segment that I'm going to do here on my channel. So I hope you'll be back for that. And that's going to be weekly as well as of next Monday. So next Monday I'll do the introduction and then after that each Monday I'll have a video for you in that segment. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys like it. I hope that you're curious and want to know all about that. Guys, thanks so much for coming on the ride with me for my joie de vivre. I, I really, really love this painting. I can highly recommend it. And um, if you're going to do this diamond painting, watch my playlist and you have all the updates you can see how i did it what i did what i changed during the process it's been a fun ride it's been such a great diamond painting and well joie de vivre guys an exuberant enjoyment of life well 
I think that's such a beautiful symbolic message. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new here and you like this video and you'd like to stick around for more of these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a follower. And guys, thanks so much and I hope to see you next week for the new segment. Okay, bye guys! <laughs>